England has advanced to the World Cup semifinals for the first time since 1990 as Taylor Twellman joins us now. They got goals from Harry Maguire in the first half, Deli Ali in the second, beating Sweden 2 0, looking for their first World Cup title since 1966. And how's, how's this for real? And about every single bar in the United States was eerily similar. Just maybe a little smaller, but there are a ton of people around the world loving this moment. And a little surprising, yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. God save the queen. We're having fun tonight. Oh, yeah. Our sister city of Bristol over there. They're celebrating. And look at this. That is awesome. I think the only place they were subdued was actually Wimbledon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so England fans certainly hoping to party like it's 1966 with 11 goals so far in the tournament. England has matched its most in a single World Cup. Think about that. With all that history, they've already matched with 11 goals. Only other time they scored double-digit goals was uh, back in 66 when they, they won were it all. Subdued at Wimbledon, you're out of here. <laughs> They're all watching the match on their phone. Going, I know, right? On oh. Hedman Hill. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, sorry. All right, so what's your, what's your biggest takeaway? from this victory, this uh, particular just, win. Just that continuously, England has defied the odds with this team. How often in the last four or five World Cups, the high expectations right. in this team just does not deliver. But when you look at this team, they're young, they're green because they're so inexperienced. But Hannah and Matt, there's no scars to this team. So there's a belief. We saw them yesterday in training playing dodgeball. The English teams of the past, they weren't doing that. Now, they needed some help today, and they got that help because their goalkeeper, Pifford, stood on his head. Right out of halftime, Sweden had two opportunities to tie the game. He comes up with two big saves, but Deli Ali's goal, there's just a quiet confidence to this team because they don't have the scar of those past results. Remember, they won in penalties against Colombia for the first time ever, so those ghosts are gone. Yeah. They've just done all these little things that have all these fans believing as hashtag it's coming home, which every English soccer fan is tweeting now. Right. They really believe this is their time, and they're also on the side of the bracket where now they get the winner of England, Cro uh, Croatia, Russia. This really could be England's time. We were seeing a reaction there from Deli Ali goal and just with everyone living with this team. It's the first time since 1990 since they've advanced uh, this far in the tournament. What does it mean right now to this area as you take a look at the bracket that they've got a team and a belief that they yes. can run this thing? And they also are going up, at, like I said, against the winner of Croatia, Russia. So they're not going up against any of those demons in, in better teams. France, Belgium, obviously, is the better game because both teams were in the top five, top six favorites to win the World Cup. Nobody, including myself, had England or, Cro or Croatia in the semifinals. Now, Croatia's got their hands full, but it's remarkable to me that the three Lions still believe that this is their World Cup. They've proven that, and a big part of that is, like Hannah said, they scored 11 goals already. Yeah, it'll be really interesting as they are so unburdened how Russia handles that pressure uh, later today. Big pressure. So we'll see.